again, this is Stephen. And this has been on my mind. I want something. I'm getting. I'm not getting ready for bed or anything yet. But I, this has been on my mind. Uh, I'm going to talk about transgender people and transsexuals and things of that nature. Um, when it comes to me, I'm almost 50 years of age. I'll be 50 December the 12th. Now, when I was growing up, we used to call boys that dressed up like girls as sissies. Now, I don't know, understand today's world. I don't think it's a medical condition. I still don't think it's a medical condition. Now, when I was growing up, a child did not go up and wear women's clothes. If they did, they got their ass beat by not boys, not only boys, but by the, by the father figure in their lives. Now, I was a child. I thought I did a lot of things in my lifetime, too, but my father would never allow me to do the things that today's kids get by with. Now, I got some questions I want some people to answer and that this is on my mind and I I don't know if this is a medical condition that people today have as being transgender or transsexual because it in my opinion it's a moral responsibility I've got to ask if a person is transgender or transsexual don't you have a moral responsibility okay and I'm talking about moral responsibility to talk to that it's a, if another man comes up to you, okay, and he thinks you're a female, don't you have a moral responsibility to tell that person that you're a male? Or are you going to try to play the game and go over and say, oh, I'm a female and I'm all this other stuff, but to, to do this and then play with a person's mind? If a man is trying to find a female, don't you think it's right of you as a transsexual or a transgender to tell that person that you're a man? Because we don't need our boys and our kids and our adult children to grow up thinking it's okay to date other men. It's not right. It's not moral. You know, I, as, as a Christian, I believe that it's wrong for a man to lie with man and a woman to lie with woman. Now, I've got a brother that is homosexual. And he's not, you know, he's not my physical brother that, that's related to me. And I've told him, and I've gotten after him, I said, I'm glad you're not my kid. Because I'll tell you right now, I'd beat your ass with an inch of your life. You don't touch other men. The Bible says that God, and I believe in God, the Bible says God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of that things like that kind of stuff. And that's in, in Genesis, in the Bible. And I believe that the Bible was the word of God. And I don't think it's right for any person to portray themselves as a woman, okay, and then go out with a guy that thinks you're a woman, and then he comes to find out later you're a man. That's not right. I don't think it's right for you boys that are being as women and you say yourself as a woman. If you're truly a woman, then you need to tell them that you're a woman because today's kids are getting confused. They don't understand why boys are looking like girls. They don't understand. First of all, they don't understand that. Is They don't understand why would boys run around, run around looking like a girl and being transgendered. Don't you think you have a moral obligation to tell that person that you can, that you don't think that's right? That you, you know, because as a Christian, I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right. Number two, don't you think that as a, as a person that you have a moral responsibility to go over and say, look, before you date me or we say hello, uh, I, I want to let you know that I'm transgender or I'm transsexual and I have male parts and all this other stuff. Don't you think you have a moral obligation to do that before you go over and talk to cause some guys out there? Because you've had surgery, you look like you women, you got well, you've had surgery. You've you well, you've had surgery for one. If you've had surgery, you look like a woman. You have a vagina, but you can't have any kids, that doesn't make you a woman. It makes you a man with a woman who has a vagina. Okay? You know, at number two, if you got boobs, 
boys are going to think, well, she's got to be a woman. Don't you think you have more obligation as a transgender or, trans, uh, or transsexual to, to tell that, chi that child or that man that you are that way? That you're that you have uh, that you're a transgender. Don't you think you you have that you have a moral obligation to tell that person because what you're doing is wrong. You're portraying yourself as a woman. It's wrong and it's immoral. And I don't believe as a Christian it's the right thing to do. Number three, the third thing I want to ask: If you're going to get in a relationship with a person, don't you think you have a before you get into anything serious of any kind, of any nature, that you should tell that person what you really are? Now, I realize that there's a lot of homosexuality going on and things of that nature, but what you're doing is wrong. It's immoral, and it's not right in the eyes of God. And I believe in God. I believe that God created this world. I don't believe in the way things are. That they See, I have a brother that I consider my, to be my brother. And I haven't told him that I think what he's doing. I haven't told him. I said I did tell him that 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 I'm glad you're not my son. Okay, because he's old enough to be my son. Because if he was my son and he didn't, he pulled that kind of garbage. Because he's living with another guy, and he's homosexual, and I don't like that. And I've told him it's wrong, and I've told him it's immoral, and he's come from a Christian, godly family. And my father has told me that men, my dad, my biological father has told me men are not to lie with men and girls are not to lie with other girls. It's immoral and it's sinful and it's against the law of God. Now I'm not judging you people out there that are being transsexuals and everything of that nature, but I think you have a moral obligation if you're going to date a guy or date a girl that you need to tell them that this is what I am and this is what's going on and if you want to set me for who I am, you want to date me for who I am, I think that would be the right thing to do. But I don't think you should go out and portray yourself as a woman and lead a man on for months, and I mean months on end, and do all this other stuff and then tell them at the last second because some men will not accept them. I, for one, I don't have any biological kids. And I've been I have a lot of questions I've got I want to ask, and I think it's and I think it's my obligation as a as a Christian to ask these questions, and these questions are on my mind because I don't want to go be confused down the line. I don't want to be confused and say, "Oh, that person's a, a, a woman, and that really person is actually a man," because I've seen some of these videos and some of these videos here on YouTube. And some of these guys look just like women. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, that's not right. If you're going to portray yourself as a woman, then you need to tell the truth. It's not right to do, do things and go behind someone's back and lie about what you really are. You need to tell them exactly what you really are before from day one. I would do the same thing. If I was of a different, you know, different when I was, if I'm a man and I'm portraying myself as a woman, I would tell the person that I was with what I was. This is my video, and I'm going to tell you that I, as a Christian, it's my moral obligation to tell you what you need to be doing that's right and wrong. And this idea of not telling men or not telling women when you get in a relationship that you're a man or a woman and you're portraying yourself as a woman or as a man and you're not doing that you're not doing what's right and if you portray yourself otherwise and you do things like that you're leading on people that want a real woman and a real man I don't think it's right to act like you're something you're not it doesn't make it right it doesn't make it right for you as a person you should be honest from day one if you want people to be honest with you and treat you with respect you do the same thing for them. It's the way I was raised, and that's what I expect people in the real world to do, is to be honest with people. But if you want people to love you, you've got to be willing to be honest with them. This is my video for tonight.